Hi everyone, this is Sean from TechCube. So in this video, I will be teaching you guys how to install macOS Al Capitan on VMware. So let's get started. So guys, before we begin, we need some files to be downloaded. All the files links will be given in the description below. So first of all we will need in OS X 10.11 you can download this by MuTorrent which is our download manager for torrent files so now double tap on it and then the download size is around 7 GB and then download it. So once it's downloaded you need to extract it because it will be contained in a RAR file and then extract it using 7-zip. So now it may take time around 5 to 10 minutes. And after decompression, the size of the file should be around 9.64 GB. And you will be also needing Oracle VM VirtualBox, which links will be given in the description below also. So I will be using the latest one that is 5.0.20 periodically, which is latest one. So now let's open it. And then now you have to uh, click on new. And in new, you have to type L Capitan. Capi 10 11 10.11 10 and then uh, you have to allot 4 gigs of RAM because that's the minimum and then tap on use an existing virtual hard disk file now locate where you have kept the downloaded file or the extracted one and here it is now open and then create and now we have to tweak a little settings so first of all uh, we need to go into system and in system we have to go on to processor and in processor we have to allot uh, 4 cores and execution cap should be 200% and now in display we have to give window memory of 128 MB so here we are and in system motherboard you need to uh, turn off optical drive and turn on network and then tap on it. That's it for this. And yeah. Now we don't need to start it right now. We need to close Oracle VM Virtual Box. And I have given some code in the description below also or in the downloadable file. So here it is code for virtual box. You need to type these codes into cmd so first of all we will be opening command mode and run it as admin and now first of all we need to copy this cd and paste it here the cop for copying ctrlc and for pasting ctrlv so now once again ctrlc and ctrlv so you need to do this to all of the codes And now the final one and then enter. Now you have to close CMD and uh, yeah save. Now you need to once again open Oracle VM VirtualBox and then start it. So now it is going to do a lot of stuff as you can see here. And it may take time, so yeah, be patient. So guys, the Al Capitan finally booted up. It took its time, and I'm going to set up it right now, so you can see the procedure of it. And I'm going to just fast forward this video.
so the mac os finally booted up and it's now working completely fine all the features are present in this so yeah it's kind of nice alternative to windows so guys this wraps up my video this is sean signing off peace out